Hi guys! In this video, we're going to be learning to calculate percentages of a whole number. Now, I'm going to cover a couple of different strategies for doing this, but both of these are going to require a good understanding of the relationship between fractions and percentages. So, I did a video on this a while ago on the relationship between fractions, decimals and percentages, and that would be a really good starting point in order to understand the basics of this video. However, if you've watched that video already, you should understand that all percentages are basically just fractions over the number 100. So if I take 45%, for instance, what that really is, is 45 hundredths, 45 parts of 100. If I was to take 37%, then what that really is, is 37 hundredths. And you might also be aware that in many of these cases, these could be simplified in some way. Now, I'm not going to simplify these ones just now, because I'm wanting to, wanting to make a particular point, but uh, some of your common fractions, like 25%, 50%, they can be simplified. So 25% just becomes a quarter. 50% becomes a half. 20% is a fifth, 75% uh, is three quarters, but we'll not worry too much about that just now. But knowing that every percentage is just a fraction over 100, that gives us a clue as to how we can work it out. We should know that to work out a fraction of a whole number, we divide by the bottom number and then multiply by the top number. So to work out any percentage, you divide it. You divide a number by a hundred, and then multiply it by whatever the percentage is. So that's our first strategy. So for instance, uh, if I wanted to work out forty-five percent of ninety, what I would do is I would do ninety divided by 100 and then times my answer by 45. And when I do that, what I get is 40.5. So by simply dividing 90 by 100 and then timesing it by 45, I get an answer. Similarly then, if I was wanting to do 37 percent of it. I would, let me actually write it out, 37 percent of 90. I would take my 90, I would divide it by 100, and then I would times it by 37 in this case. And when I do that, I get 33.3. So that <clears throat> is strategy number one. We divide by 100 and then multiply by the percentage that we're trying to find. However, if we're trying to do this mentally, there's one particular percentage that is especially useful for calculating percentages of a whole number. And that is 10%. Now, the reason why it's such an important percentage is because one, it's really easy to work out. And two, it then allows us to calculate loads of other percentages. And I'll, I'll tell you why in a wee minute. But first of all, let's look at what 10% is as a fraction. So 10% is obviously 10 hundredths. Let's simplify that quickly. So 10 hundredths. These are both in the 10 times table, 10 and 100, both in the 10 times table. So this 10 can be divided by 10 and simplified to a 1, and this 100 can be simplified uh, by dividing it by 10, and we get 10. So 10% is the same as a tenth. How do we work out a tenth of something? We just divide by 10, which is really easy to do. It's just moving columns up and down. There's a video on that as well on this channel. Uh, but dividing by 10, one of the easiest skills in maths. Really, really simple to do. So because working out 
how to divide by 10 is so easy, it means working out 10% is really easy. And that then allows us to work out loads of other percentages. So I often describe 10% as being our gateway percentage. So I've already discussed that it's just 10 hundredths, which can then be simplified to a tenth, which is effectively just dividing by 10. But the reason it's our gateway percentage is it lets us work out loads of other percentages. Now I've just given four examples here. But let's say I have 10% of something. I've worked that out. I can easily work out from that what 20% is. If I have 10%, how do I get 20%? I times my answer by 2. If I have 10%, I could work out 50% by times in my answer by 5. I could work out 70% by timesing it by 7, or 30% by timesing it by 3. I can work out all the other um, stations of 10, as long as I have 10%. But, better still, I can work out what 5% is. 5% is just half of 10%, so I'm going to divide it by 2. So, if I want 5%, I divide my answer by 2. If I've got 10%, I could also work out 1%. I just divide it by 10 again, because 1 is 10 times smaller. So let's look at this in an example then. I'm going to ask the question, what is 10% of 80? Okay, 10% of 80. Well, that's easy. We divide it by 10, and we get our answer, which is 8. Nice and simple. But now, we can use that 8 to work out any other percentage. So let's say we want to work out what 20% of 8 is. So I've worked out my 10%. I know that that's 8. I'm going to take that 8, and what am I going to do to it? Well, I'm going to multiply it by 2. So 20% of 80 is going to be my 10% times 2. It's going to be 8 times 2 to get 20%, so it's going to be 16. Simple. Really, really easy. Um, if I want to work out 5%, I'm going to take that 8, and I'm going to divide it by 2. So 5% of 80 is 8 divided by 2, which is 4. What about 1% then? So 1% of 80 is going to be my 8 from the 10%. But what do I do to get 1%? I divide it by 10. So it's going to be 8 divided by 10, which gives me the answer 0 0.8. So a really easy skill. If I have 10%, I can work out pretty much any other percentage. But you might be sitting there thinking, well, that's all well and good, but how would I work out something like 26%? Well, you have the skills to work out 20, you have the skills to work out 5, you have the skills to work out 1. Why not add them all together? You have a 20%, a 5%, a 1%. We just stick them together. So 20% was 16, our 5% was 4, our 1% was 0 0.8. We'll line up all the columns. And we've got a simple calculation that we can do, just an addition sum. 0 plus 0 plus 8, 8, there's my decimal point. 6 plus 4 plus 0 is 10. Carry the 1 up there. 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus that 1, 20. So if I wanted to know what 26% of 80 was, I can work it out by taking 20% plus 5% plus 1% and adding them together. And I get... 20.8. Now, if you want to fact check that, do it using the first strategy. Take 80, divide it by the bottom number, 100, so 80, divided by 100, times by 26, and we'll get the same answer. 20, I'm running out of space here, I'm laying it out a bit messy, but hopefully you're following my working. 20.8 is what we get. So, here are a couple of examples for you to challenge yourself with. Let's talk about this one first of all. If you want to pause the video and give it a try yourself, 
fine, go for it. Uh, if you're still a bit unsure, let's talk about how we could work this out first of all. So 35% of 80. Well, we did 80 uh, earlier, and we worked out that 10% of 80 is 8. Now, to work out 35%, you're going to have to work out 3 lots of 10%, so it's going to be 3 times 10% of 80, plus half of 10%. Half of 10% is 5%. So you're going to have to do 10% of 80 divided by 2. And if you work that out, you should arrive at the correct answer. So pause the video and try it yourself if you want, and I'll reveal the answer in just a second. Okay, so we have three lots of 10% of 80, which is three times eight, because 10% of 80 is eight, so that's 24, plus 5% of 80, which is four. Add them together, we get 28. Now, I'm not going to give you any advice on the next two. That's going to be up to you to work out, but hopefully if you follow the same strategy, you'll get them right. I'm going to reveal the answers to them just now. So, those are the answers. And there's other ways of working out as well, but in this video we've covered two particular strategies. So, we discussed that we can Divide by 100 and then multiply by our percentage. So if it was 49%, we divide by 100 and multiply by 49. And that is strategy one. <clears throat> but for mental maths, I'm much more of a fan of strategy two, which was we use 10% as our gateway. So if we use 10% as a gateway, we can then work out all the other percentages by doing something to that 10%. So 30% would just be taking our answer and timesing it by three, for instance. And we could work out loads of other percentages, in fact, pretty much any other percentage by doing that. Cheers, guys.